Iloilo River is located in the province of Iloilo, the heart of the Philippines. The river starts in Oton at Batiano River, then traverses the Iloilo city districts of Lapuz, La Paz, Mandoriao, Molo, Arevalo, and the city proper before emptying into the Iloilo Strait. During the early time before the Spanish regime, Iloilo River was a channel of trade and a busy artery of commerce to several important early settlements of Iloilo City. Iloilo River served as a fishing ground for the early inhabitants who started putting up huts along its banks. During the Spanish regime, with the establishment of Fort San Pedro at the mouth of Iloilo River, Iloilo became the seat of Spanish government in the region in 1700s. Communities sprouted along the riverbanks after the establishment of the fort. There were 835 residents in Iloilo in 1760. The rapid economic growth of the place led to the opening of the port of Iloilo to world trade in 1855 and the coming of British Vice Consul Nicholas Loney a year later that led to the fast development of sugar industry in the region. Iloilo soon emerged to be one of the biggest centers of trade, second only to Manila. British and Spanish firms began to crowd the marshy area along Iloilo River. They built warehouses, permanent offices, and shops in the streets parallel to the river in the 1850s and 1860s. Iloilo River Wharf, including Mulia Loni in city proper, is a natural harbor which made it a preferred port of call for ships seeking protection from strong winds and tropical monsoons. It serves as a port for inter-island ferries that travel from Iloilo City to Bacolod City on Negros Occidental and to Guimaras Island. It is also drop-off point for fishing vessels that bring in their catch from the sea to be delivered to markets all over Iloilo. The banks of Iloilo River became a long stretch of pier where vessels found docking space that was protected from the forces of nature. From the mouth of Iloilo River down to Arsenal Street, the Iloilo River Wharf was a scene of busy activity where porters trotted about loading or unloading valuable cargo with a heavy volume of maritime commerce, the government put up a customs house that held a commanding view of the long stretch of the river wharf. The Iloilo River is the only natural attraction of Iloilo City and it is the lifeblood of trade and commerce since the long time ago. It was the main reason why the sugar industry came as a successful venture because of the accessibility of the river to bring out and in trading materials for the sugar industry. The river is used as a means of transportation to bring people, materials, cargo to Iloilo City and from Iloilo City. Thus, the Iloilo River is an important commercial asset of the city. Iloilo River is actually an estuary that is 15 km long. It derives fresh water from the rivers and creeks that are connected to it and saline water from the sea that feeds it. Iloilo River maintains a high level of productive biological activities. It serves as nursery for many important species such as bangus and tilapia and the rise and fall of the tide makes it possible for nutrients to circulate in and out of the estuary. Iloilo River is home to 22 of the country's 35 mangrove species and the rare emerald shrimp species. 
to some residents of the city who are dependent on fishing, it's a source of sustenance and livelihood. Its estuarine characteristic is an ideal source of brackish water for fish pond cultivation. The fishing industry made the Iloilo River its home and haven. The Iloilo River was the source of life for thousands of Ilongos. The river played a very important role in the history of Iloilo, for it would not have been the Queen City of the South without its inherent physical location. Years ago, Iloilo River was cluttered with so many fish pens, illegal makeshift structures, and even garbage. Increased dumping of waste in the river has severely affected the quality of water in it. Majority of this scenario occurring in the Iloilo River ecosystem originate from human activities. Land use along Iloilo River is a combination of residential, commercial, institutional, open space fish pond, transport facility, and mangrove areas. Nowadays, a simple walk along the riverbanks could tell something dramatically changed. A major percentage of clutters are now gone, cleaned up, removed, or relocated elsewhere. River cleanups became a habit among Ilongos. Unsightly boats or derelict ships parked in and around Moli Loni were removed. Replanting the mangroves became a usual event in the river. Most important settlers are now relocated to decent housing facilities provided by the government. In the uh, Iloilo River, um, yes, in the uh, Kalabaon, uh, on both sides, no? Okay, ang Taksanaisi na on both uh, sides, uh, 27 kilometers. So on the average, kung nambalon tabi ang uh, kalabaon sang suba, agana sang uh, 13.5 kilometers. Um, ining mga isda dera kag shrimps nga arak dera, wala pagigita si ni sang comprehensive studies, but uh, once may nag-iwat dara sa pagtuon kag uh, suno sa iya uh, there are 31 species of crabs, shrimps and fish dara sa Ililo River but of course uh, this needs to be studied further and uh, about the mangroves naman we have uh, 22 mangroves out of uh, um, I mean 22 species ang mangroves dara out of uh, 35 species found in the Philippines. So, amoy na ka-diverse sa aton dira mangrove sa Ililo River. Now, sa mga mangroves naton, may isa ida ka-rare. Amoy ng suneratya o bata. That is, uh, a rare mangrove as far as Western Visayas is uh, concerned. No? Kag uh, ining uh, mga isda nga ara dira uh, continuously provides uh, livelihood sa aton mga fisher fox dara. There are over 100 fisher fox pero ang uh, mayor gida ang uh, resources ang Iloilo River ang mga inisya brackish water ka ginagamit inis ang mga punong dara for inland fisheries. So uh, ang isip-isip na ito dara mga may kapin sa 600 hectares ang punong dara ang uh, nahamtang sa Ililo River and uh, eh, kadako man sinisang uh, income nga ginakontribute niya as far as Ililo City is concerned no? and uh, eh, over the centuries uh, in ng Ililo River uh, ginagamit naton as uh, transportation as uh, port and for fishery through the concerted efforts of the Iloilo River Development Council composed of Iloilo City Government, Philippine Ports Authority, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Philippine Navy, Metro Iloilo Water District, Maritime Authority, National Housing Authority, Philippine National Police, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Philippine Coast Guard, and Department of Tourism, 
volunteers and environmentalists, a new life was breathed in the Iloilo River. So there is what we call a, an, a council created, the Iloilo River Development Council, to undertake, undertake the uh, plan for the development of the river and there is a master plan for the river to be of multi-use and uh, there are a lot of plans for the Iloilo River not just as a waterway but to serve as a means of uh, transportation to bring people from one side to, to another. River taxes may be allowed in the future and river cruise will be designed in such a way that people could go around the river uh, using river boats that would enable them to move from one point to another to uh, take the uh, whole Iloilo River from the, Ilo, from the Carpenter's Bridge, passing through Diversion Bridge, the Halandoni Bridge, the Querino, uh, Forbes Bridge, up to another point where there will be a construction of another bridge that would connect um, the uh, the wharf, the uh, the fast craft wharf from Lapos towards the city proper at the Aduana area, and uh, another development phase of the Esplanade 3 will happen once we construct the, the uh, Esplanade in the area starting from the side of the Iloilo Provincial Capital to Aduana uh, Customs House. So this will be a big add-on so that people would still be able to go around the city using the Esplanade as a walkway. The city has an ambitious plan to make the river a total center point where Ilongas can converge, preserve, and enjoy nature in the middle of the city. They are working together to achieve sustainability. There were two commercial establishments removed, 998 informal settlers due for voluntary relocation. Removal of illegal fish pens that cause tiltation and provision of alternative livelihood and retention of compliant fishing methods and gears. They also built development parks. The Iloilo River Esplanade is one of them. The Iloilo River Esplanade opened two years ago and has become one of the most popular spots in the city. Thousands come every day early in the morning and late in the afternoon. The Esplanade was designed as a linear park. Palms, colorful shrubs, and shade trees were planted to provide a green ribbon connecting Carpenter Bridge with a diversion bridge. Generous lighting makes the Esplanade attractive for evening and night use. The nearby Smallville districts of new hotels and restaurants has benefited and complements the Esplanade. The Esplanade is also designed to protect prolific mangrove edges of the Iloilo River. Since the Esplanade opened, the adjacent properties have perked up both in value and actual development. Restaurants and commercial establishments have embarked on improvements or new projects that are now linked to the Esplanade. Hotels are being planned and a few are already under construction nearby Esplanade. Iloilo now has the longest landscape river Esplanade in the country. The Iloilo River Development Project, bagged gold or excellent citation in the natural category, 
of the 2010 International Awards of Livable Communities or LiveCom that was held at the Hilton Hotel, Michigan Avenue, Chicago, Illinois on November 4 to 8, 2010. It also got a silver award in LiveCom in Songpa, Seoul, South Korea on October 27 to 31, 2011. The Iloilo River Esplanade was built in 2012, intended to create an open space for people to go to and to make the river more emphasized to the public. It is there where people could walk around the river bank in a safe and clean environment because of the uh, provision for walkway in the around the area the esplanade was built uh, from the project of uh, the city government in cooperation supported by uh, senator franklin drillon congressman jerry trenas and Mayor Jed Patrick Mabilo. It was in 2012 that the Esplanade was started and completed and since then it has become a, a big attraction for people since it has been pedestrianized and vehicles are not allowed to allow people to enjoy walking around the area. From the river Esplanade, one could see the spires of the Molo Church, the riverway from the Carpenter's Bridge towards the Diversion Bridge, and a park has been created so that people could stay there during weekends. So the river Esplanade was a big attraction for Iloilo City and people coming here are all praises for the cleanliness of the river and the beauty of the river is planned. The efforts of the city government was also recognized by Rivers of the World Foundation, a global group dedicated to restoring and protecting rivers and streams around the globe. Even in national spotlight, the Iloilo River Development Project has served as a model of other cities in cleaning up and revitalizing the rivers. The success story of these efforts made the city well known not only in the Philippines but also in some other countries. Be proud not only as an Ilongo but as a Filipino. This is our river, our life.